<laughs> yeah. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> to the Basement Show podcast. Sure. That's right. That's right, baby. We're going to jump right in. It's it's yeah. a lot crammed into a little. That's right. So today is a superstition, and we're going to talk about horseshoes. That's right. Nobody says no to a good luck charm, and the most common good luck charm found in almost every culture is the horseshoe. Hmm, fancy that. With many people thinking that hanging a horseshoe over a door brings good luck. The belief in the magical powers of horseshoes has roots both in the ancient Greeks and Christianity. The Greeks believed that iron could cast off evil and that a horseshoe resembles a crescent, which they considered a symbol of fertility and good luck. Aww. Isn't that nice? Early Christians adopted this pagan belief and turned a horseshoe into a talisman to protect them from evil witchcraft and the one and only devil. Himself. No, not the devil. That's right. Say it ain't so. Mm -hmm. In the British Isles, on the other <laughs> hand, the horseshoe and its magical powers are related to the legend of St. Dunstan. Dunstan was a simple man, a blacksmith in the 10th century Britain. One night, the devil paid him a visit and asked him to put a horseshoe on his horse. Instead of putting the shoe on the horse, Dunstan nailed the horseshoe to the devil. In pain, uh -oh. the devil begged Dunstan to remove the horseshoe. However, <laughs> Dunstan agreed, but under one condition. The devil had to promise to stay away from all houses with a horseshoe above their entrances. Ooh. Wow, that's a very considerate person. He's a very person. crafty bargainer, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, I guess so, and he's protecting other people at the same time. Very unselfish. I like him. <laughs> Thus, Dunstan became the Archbishop of Canterbury and was elevated to sainthood. Oh. Sport includes horseshoe throwing, which is an old cowboy custom in some parts of the States. And this is Ted Allen, the world champion, giving a demonstration of his art in Chicago. While admiring his skill, we can't help thinking even more highly of the trust his friends put in it. Yeah. <laughs> Although the belief that a horseshoe had magical powers was transferred from pagan Greeks to Christianity, it had traces in other cultures as well. In Ireland, a bride used to bring a real horseshoe to her wedding for good luck. <laughs> Greeks still use the horseshoe in their weddings to bring the couple good luck and lots of children. According to a Croatian belief, a horseshoe is put above a bed to keep those sleeping safe from nightmares. <laughs> I'd be afraid to have it over my bed. It's going to fall on your head. What if head? it falls on your head? That, yeah, a traumatic brain injury. That's a real nightmare. <laughs> is it customary to hang your horseshoe with seven nails? But there is some debate over whether they should be hung with the ends point up so the shoe catches luck or down so that the shoe pours luck onto everyone who passes through the doorway. Toss a horseshoe at the bell. That's right, baby. And be notified when we drop new mediocre content. And be sure to subscribe and share. And we will be back with a full episode next week. Yeah, so get ready. Yeah. You app. Get your rest. Hmm. Gonna have NyQuil dreams. That's right. Horse your NyQuil dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Yes. Yes. <laughs>